pretty good. Good morning and welcome to another vlog. So for today's trip, we are going to Taipei. It's gonna be my first time in Taiwan ever. So I'm really, really excited. I've wanted to go to Taiwan for like the longest time. It's currently 4.22 a.m. We are waiting for boarding to start. It starts at 6.15 because the flight leaves at 7. So we're just waiting for that. We're in front of the boarding gate and yeah, uh, we're really excited. So this is going to be like the first family trip ever. Uh, I'm going to be here with my cousins, my mom, and my aunt. So it's going to be something new for all of us and hopefully uh, it pans out well. We just bought some coffee and food uh, so we could have some breakfast before going on the plane. This is going to be my first time flying with Cebu Pacific as well uh, because I do normally ride like PAL, which is another terminal. So this is like Terminal 3 and I haven't been here in years. Terminal 3 is definitely an experience. There's so many people, like way more than what you normally see in Terminals 1 and 2. And yeah, it's my first time flying like a budget airline. So one thing we had to do as well was like buy additional baggage because you only really get like the carry-on allowance so that's something you have to like consider as well if you're choosing a budget airline over a full service airline another thing is also the food so we won't have food on this flight um, so we did buy some snacks that we can bring uh, to eat on board we are done eating breakfast and now we're just gonna wait for you know boarding time so I'll talk to you guys later Maybe in Taiwan. <laughs> Hi everyone, so we have made it to Taiwan. We are currently in the hotel and we're gonna do a little bit of our room tour as requested by my family. So I have my cousin Kyla and my mom here. And now we're gonna do a room tour. This is the toilet. Um, so separate from the, the shower, which is over here. So yes, actually, so laki ng room. Yeah, so this is the shower, and then this is where you can get ready. And then there is also a uh, table here uh, for sitting down and the bathrooms. So because we're three in this room, we requested for extra mattress uh, over here. So they converted the sofa into another bed. And then here's the TV, uh, coffee table. And then here's the bed. So it's a king-sized bed uh, for me and my mom. This is my chair. So yeah, the room is very spacious. And so far, looks really clean man. So we are currently on the way to the Hello Kitty 7-Eleven store. Which is very, very near to our hotel. Like We got here in like less than two minutes. It's so cute! Hello Kitty 7-Eleven and there's gotcha pot right outside and the giant Hello Kitty here so cute this is the store the giant Hello Kitty and uh, I think there's a juice collab so that's pretty cute I do love juice pens I have quite a few myself and here's like a giant chrome mat. So cute. They do have like candy as well. And everything's just like Hello Kitty themed. Look at this scrunchie. Isa Isa. It's chrome themed. Isa likes chrome, so yeah, we're always on the lookout. This is carrot Paki. I don't know what this is. This looks like chocolate. My Melody. And they have little charms. 
You go to 7-Eleven, the first thing you gotta look for is food and we do have onigiri here. Uh, really excited to try them maybe later. We do have like quite a selection here. Kinda freaking out because there's a CR in the 7-Eleven <laughs> that you can actually use. That's like unheard of where we're from. They also have more merch on this side of the store. I think these are like drink pouches. So cute! 290 for one of these. And they also have like a tablecloth, umbrellas, and these can carry two drinks. I love it. I, I love how it's just all drink pouches. So, so, so cute. It's me and Hello Kitty. I can't believe it's just like a giant Hello Kitty inside of 7 Eleven. Stay cute! I will. <laughs> We are on a street near the hotel and there's just so many stalls. I think the rest of us here has like a lot of Taiwanese cuisine options. So we saw a sign that said this is Taiwan top notch tender meat Xiao Long Bao. So we ordered some. I hope it tastes good. But basically it's Xiao Long Bao. So we got a couple of orders. And we're just like waiting for our turn. We are currently in line for some shinfutang, which is like the highly recommended milky brand by my Taiwanese friend. So we will be trying the authentic version today. There's like a photo up here then with the, the giant shinfutang boba over there. Hot Mart is over in here. My cousins went in to get some souvenirs for our cousins back home who couldn't go on the trip. So I hear there's a lot of like toys and collectibles there. So hopefully they find something. Hi, this one two please. Two hundred forty. Thank you. Thank you for the Thank you. Two times? Yeah. Two times. Two times? Yeah. Two times? Yeah. So this is the, the, the secret sauce. This is the secret sauce. This is the boba. We're just waiting for our order now. Oh, look at the dino! <laughs> the dino is flaming the, the boba. We got the goods! Uh, but we're looking for my cousins right now so we can like start eating. So we're just gonna look for them. Then we're gonna try it. I'm going to try Xing Fu Tang in Taiwan for the first time. I mean, I've tried it in other places, but it, I don't know. They say it's different when you try it where it's from. So let's see. Mmm. <laughs> okay, the boba, like the pearls, that's pretty good. They're still really warm. And I really like how the drink isn't sweet. It's like a little bit of like a burnt sugar taste. So it's not like overly sweet. And I think I can actually finish this drink. We also bought some Shaolong Bao. And now Isa is going to try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we also made it to Rainbow Road by accident. Well now we're here so we're gonna like take a look at it. I think we'll need to line up if we wanna like take turns taking photos. It's gonna take a while. So we are here at the Pokemon Center in Taipei aka my 12 Poke Center. So it's right at the back. And the mascot is Dragonite. I can't, I don't know if it's, he's super visible, but he's over there. Wait, let me try to get a closer look. 
yeah, the lighting's not very forgiving, but he's over there. And now we're gonna go inside the store. So yeah, super excited. Here's the like, little entrance. And there's like a photo wall here where you can take pictures. We are here looking at the merch. Looks like they do have a bit more like monochrome items here. They have a luggage, it's pretty cute. They also have some wallets. The usual socks, which I once got for myself long ago. And of course the plushy wall with all the starters. So cute! We also have a Pokemon game and app gallery. That's pretty cool. They do have like the latest uh, games here in the series. They also have like the, the side games. And of course they have them for sale. And this is the TCG section. Wow! This is pretty cool. Genuinely like, I think this is the first TCG like section I've seen in a Pokemon Center and this this slaps like really really hard. We also have something called the Okairi collection or the Welcome Home uh, collection. This is so cute. It's basically like a bunch of stuff for the house with like different Pokemon on it. And I think it might be a blind box. Not too sure. I've decided to get one of the boxes of the Okairi collection just because they don't have stationery and I figured this blind box would be a super cute addition to my room. So let's get maybe this one and let's hope for the best. I po nila ako na to get this one also. It's like a Lego set and it's cheaper than the blind boxer. Okay, I'll get both. <laughs> Para tapos, I will get both. We're on the phone with Migs. He's just trying to uh, get him to choose something. <laughs> Charizard! Gusto naman yung mix Charizard! So we are at Lalabo and we got some perfume. You can customize it with symbols as well instead of just like letters and numbers. So that's pretty cool. So it's like a super customized like, perfume. We got the scent another and the more because they smelled like very light and very like nice. Also sell like lotion here and a lot of like other body bath and <laughs> works things. It's a really cute store and they do the printing here if you do like a custom label so it's like really quick. And then it looks like something like this. Like it gets put on the bottle. Hi everyone, we are in Taipei 101. We're in the basement level. We already had dinner in the food court. And now Isa got her shoes. Isa. <laughs> and now we're gonna get a tax refund. So we are back in the Shimending area. We're done shopping in Taipei 101. And now we're actually back in the area where our hotel is. So we're gonna cross the street and apparently we're gonna go to Watson's first. So the Watson's here has five floors, but no elevators, all stairs. So let's go. <laughs> Very different from what we have back home. So it's way bigger. Just stumbled across a Lay's themed 7 Eleven. Like it's also really near the hotel. Let me show you guys. Look at this. Lay themed car. There's some games. And also like a Lay themed area. Good morning, everyone. We're having our second day here in Taiwan. And sorry we didn't film an outro for last night. Because when we got to the hotel, everyone was just like that tired. So we just fell asleep right away. But yeah, essentially, we went back to the area, did a bit more like window shopping, and then we went back to the hotel. Today is a new day. It's 6.30ish a.m. And we are on our way to Taipei Main Station because we have a tour booked through Kluk. Uh, we'll be going to Yelio, um, Jiofen, and Shrefen today. And so we're just at a 7-Eleven buying like snacks and water while they're playing Gachapon over there. So there's surprisingly like a lot of Gachapon machines here. I guess it's very similar than to like, you know, in Japan, you also have Gachapons in every corner.